The study of money, above all other fields in economics, is one in which complexity is used to disguise truth, not reveal it. Now, here's a quote that we really must grasp, and this is where our downfall is, is because most people don't grasp it, because it is de deliberately uh, confused. Of all the contrivances for cheating the laboring classes of mankind, none has been more effective than that which deludes them with paper money. When people understand what is being perpetrated on them, they will uh, speak out, just as a number of good congressmen in the United States have. Uh, I have here a quote from Congressman Wright Patman. I have never yet had anyone who could, through the use of logic and reason, justify the federal government borrowing the use of its own money. There's another statement by him that I have here which says, there is not a single person within range of my voice who does not know that the Federal Reserve is an illegal organization that puts people into debt unnecessarily. Uh, right, Patman, in Canada, the best question for that is, answer for that is um, Gerald Grattan McGear. And uh, we could do a documentary on Gerald Grattan McGear. He was, uh, should have been listed as Canadians, Canada's greatest Canadian. In 1935, he single-handedly, uh, he was a brilliant lawyer, a King's Counsel, uh, a uh, an MP at that time, and uh, also a legislator he, uh, in the BC government for a number of years. But he single-handedly um, caught the, um, the, the Macmillan Commission, which was sent out from Britain, the Lord Macmillan Commission, uh, to fix our economy. He cowed them and talked to them as if they were a bunch of freshmen in college. And as a result of uh, Gerald Grattan McGear, the Bank of Canada became a reality, and his recommendations are the base of the Bank of Canada Act, and they still are law. But there is no question about it that banks create the medium of exchange. That is right. That is what they're for. That is the banking business, just in the same way that a steel plant makes steel. The manufacturing process consists of making a pen and ink or typewriter entry on a card in a book. That's all. Each and every time a bank makes a loan or purchases security, new bank credit is created, new deposits, brand new money. Broadly speaking, all new money comes out of a bank in the form of loans. As loans are debt, then under the present system, all money is debt. When one million dollars worth of bonds is presented to the bank, a million dollars of new money or the equivalent is created? Yes. Is it a fact that a million dollars of new money is created? That's right. Now the same thing holds true when a municipality or a province goes to the bank. Or an individual borrower. When a private person goes to the bank? Yes. When I borrow $100 from the bank as a private citizen, the bank makes a bookkeeping entry and there is a $100 increase in the deposits of that bank, in the total deposits of that bank. Yes. Mr. Towers, when you allow the merchant banking system to issue bank deposits, which with the practice of using the checks as we have it in vogue today constitutes the medium of exchange upon which I think 95% of our public and private business is transacted. You virtually allow the banks to issue an effective substitute for money, do you not? 
The bank deposits are actual money in that sense, yes. In that sense that they are actual money. But as a matter of fact, they are not actual money, but credit, bookkeeping accounts, which are used as a substitute for money. Yes. Then we authorize the banks to issue a substitute for money. Yes, I think that's a very fair statement of banking. 12% of the money in use in Canada is issued by the government through the Mint and the Bank of Canada, and 88% is issued by the Merchant Banks of Canada on the reserves issued by the Bank of Canada. Yes. If the issue of currency and money is a high prerogative of government, then that high prerogative has been transferred to the extent of 88% from the government to the merchant banking system. Yes. Will you tell me why a government with power to create money should give that power away to a private monopoly and then borrow that which Parliament can create itself back at interest to the point of national bankruptcy. If Parliament wants to change the form of operating the banking system, then certainly that is within the power of Parliament. Gerald Grattan McGeer questioned the Commission for over three and a half hours. Representing the Vancouver Trades and Labor Council, McGeer told the Commission it was trying to patch up an ox cart and that Canadian banking was a credit racket that was strangling commercial life. The uh, Macmillan Commission, which was sent out from Britain, the Lord Macmillan Commission, uh, to fix our economy, he cowed them and talked to them as if they were a bunch of freshmen in college. And as a result of uh, Gerald Grattan McGeer, the Bank of Canada became a reality and his recommendations are the base of the Bank of Canada Act and they still are law. <laughs>